Mike with Catching Z's Outdoors. Um, today I want to do a how-to video on rigging a Savage Gear uh, sand eel, as well as what I do with my new um, sand eels when I get them out of the box. Um, so we'll start with the box. First off, um, you know, you'll see the packages like this. Um, they come in, you know, a variety of different lengths and weights. Um, right here in front of you, you've got the eight inch um, sand eel in mackerel. Um, that's the one that I tend to use the most in the canal. Um, just make sure that your gear is rated for what you're throwing. Uh, when you do go out and buy, um, you know, a new lure, my suggestion is also buy some replacement uh, tails. The lure will come with one extra tail here, um, my, but my suggestion is you get at least one pack, if not two um, packs of replacement tails here. So right out of the box, uh, the lure does not come glued. Um, my suggestion though is that you do glue the um, tail to the actual head of the lure. Uh, this is going to prolong the life of the actual tail. Um, keeping it together, you know, when you're fighting fish or you know, bouncing off the rocks, what have you, um, you're gonna have, you're gonna be able to use it for a lot longer um, with, with a single tail than if you didn't. Um, a lot of times when a fish does grab the tail, um, the soft bait will slide down the shaft of the uh, hook, um, and then you know it, it doesn't swim the same after that. So. Um, when I go get my lures, I go get my, um, you know, my replacement tails. Also pick up a um, thing of super glue. I like Gorilla Glue. Um, don't really have, you know, the rhyme or reason why I pick that. Um, it's just what I use. Um, but you know, anything that's you know, super sticky and fast drying. So what I want to do is walk you through what I do with a, um, you know, a jig head that um, needs a new tail. Um, you know, when you get your new lure, um, all you have to do is the end part, which is gluing it, but I'm gonna take you through the whole process. Um, so this one, you can see, is a little beat up. Um, it's definitely seen the bottom of the canal a couple times. Um, and what I'll do is I'll grab a replacement tail, and you want to match up the tail with the jig head and see where the hook is gonna come out of the actual um, soft bait here so you, know, you can use your finger you can use um, you know a sharpie and just mark on the top of the tail um, where that hooks gonna come out so you know I'm gonna say right about here um, I'll put a mark you know just right at the top and then next what you want to do is just figure out where the shaft of the um, hook is going to go through the actual uh, lure so I'm gonna just use that, you know, use my fingers and uh, you know mark that. So from here, what you want to do is take the hook, go through the center of the soft bait, and um, you know straight down until you hit your sharpie mark with the hook. Get that hook coming straight out of there. Push hard. And now I'll leave it like this um, so that I have enough room to be able to put the glue on the sh uh, shaft of the hook as well as on the inside of the um, jig. Now if you're replacing the jig and you had already put glue on there, um, a lot of times what you're going to have to do is use pliers and just get the old glue and um, soft bait out of there um, so that you get a really good bond between the new tail and the jig head. Take the cover off of your glue here. Doesn't take a whole lot, just a little bit right off the, uh, the sides. And then in the cup of the, the head of the lure. And then jam it all in. And what I'll do is I'll hold it there for you know 30 seconds or so. Um, and then I usually will let it dry overnight. Um, workbench before going out fishing again with it um, but you know the glue dries pretty quick um, you know if you put it back in say your bag and you know 20 minutes down the line you need the uh, your second lure um, you shouldn't have an issue there 
So just um, just so that you guys know, you can do this with pretty much any brand, um, you know, soft bait, jig head. Um, I know, you know, Al Gags is another big one out there, a couple other ones. Um, so it's not specific just to the Savage Eel. Same concept goes, um, you know, whichever lure you work with. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope this helps you out and keeps you on the, the water uh, longer with you know, each lure that you use. Um, don't forget to hit the like button um, if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button if you wanna continue following our videos as well as the little uh, bell icon um, next to the subscribe button to um, notify you that um, we've published a new video. Um, until next time, thanks guys.